helping the guys with a little prep work of their, of their dive setup. I had a little mess up and I, I got kicked my, my lab mic over the edge right here. So we're heading to a private ranch. There's a cenote, which is an underwater cave in the Yucatan Peninsula where we are. It's on private land of which Fernando apparently knows the owners and got us permission to stay here and dive and explore it and put line in it. Yeah, and he's also looking for new species. Right, no divers have entered this cenote ever. We'll be the first humans to dive down there. All right. Game time. Cave diving. Cave diving in Mexico starts now. shark infested waters. And so today I'm going to be following them down about 10 feet and in their initial descent. Um, just, just holding my breath and with a GoPro. And then from there on, they're going to be taking on the videography, uh, with their own cameras that they're uh, bringing with the divers, five divers going in three top side, including me, uh, who's a certified lifeguard and I had no, no CPR. And uh, I'm learning a lot on this trip, but uh, I'm also able to provide a little topside support with my own expertise, working with scuba divers. And uh, this cave is absolutely amazing. The sidewinder is really hard to put on. That's the only negative. It's not easy because it's squirrely. See what I'm saying? It's kind of squirrely. Yeah. It's not meant to, it's meant to be on your body, not, on, not like meant to stand up. Okay, so this one, this one, with this arm, now look, notice my arm, look, it goes between the shoulder and this underneath bungee. Yep. Gotta go in between that. See? Okay. In between the yep. bungee. Over the valve. Yep. Okay. I have a microphone set, uh, lavalier wireless mics, and I had it clipped on my camera strap. And uh, filming a scene, one of them fell off, hit the dock, and then fell into the water and fell all the way down to the bottom. Uh, all right. Gus is on his way to go get it right now. I doubt it's going to survive the depths of 100 plus feet, but um, I'm really excited. We have divers that are capable of going down. Microphones. It's going to be right here. That microphone is going to take a right to do it. Yeah, I had a little mess up and I, I got kicked my, my lav mic over the edge right here. Wait. I think it's 115 straight down. It gets to 200 oh. here, so. What are you working on? Setting up my computer. Oh, that's his pee face. <laughs> Taking a pee. Let's go explore. 
Did Woody say he had the big reel? Eh? Alright, I'm gonna be oh, following you. Hand me you the with big this. reel. Josh. Really? No. I wanna film you going under. The decompression stock is where they're letting the nitrogen in their blood dissolve through time. This allows them to get the bubbles out of their blood so when they surface, they don't expand. Um, depending on how long they were down, at 130 feet, depends on how long they have to stop. At, I think they're about 35, 40 feet right now. And uh, usually it's between five to 20 minutes. So we'll see how long this takes them. I think they were down underwater for maybe 25 minutes. Looks like the divers are finishing their decompression stop and they should be heading up any moment. And we'll hear all about their adventures. Maybe they found uh, some mine gold or some new species of wild wildlife or even uh, Aztec ruins, dinosaur bones. Maybe a whole cave system that just goes endlessly and they're coming back up for more rope. That's how good visibility is. You can see all the way down a hundred feet. Couldn't find the mic so that they could do it. I looked, but it's hard. There's so many holes and rocks and you know, all kinds of stuff down there. If we dive tomorrow here as well, I'm gonna go and try to find that again. Once you get down there, it's just a bunch of like rocks, like Did jagged you rocks. For sure that it was going down. What if it, yeah, 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 no, I saw it hundred percent. Start. Okay, that's going to wrap up this uh, behind the scenes episode here, diving with Dive Talk here in Mexico, doing these uh, caverns, uh, these super crazy deep caverns over 200 feet. Absolutely amazing professionals at what they do, and everything that they do uh, has been super safe to the, to the T. And uh, I love being a part of uh, being able to download some of the information from these professionals and really get to know. Um, how to overcome obstacles like the depth, uh, caverns and stuff, stuff like that, just by watching and listening and hearing and really amazing opportunity. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next episode and take care. Bye. Keep it epic. Bye. All right. So this line right here has little knots on it. They're ten, uh, every 10 feet. I'm going to see if I can get to the second and the third one just on a free dive. Very deep. <laughs>